Why is Japan a good place to get into the tech industry? Outdated websites and systems. Wow. Yeah, the average people and average businesses are using really outdated technology. A lot of businesses in Japan are using some kind of weird blog thing that just looks horrible. So it's really easy to go to a business and propose an idea、uh, to give them a nice modern website. There's not enough Japanese people to do the jobs. They have an aging and declining population. Births are going down, deaths are going up, less people are getting married and having kids. So there are just not enough Japanese people to do the jobs,、uh, not only in tech, but really in any industry, but especially tech. The bigger companies over here. Especially Rakuten. Rakuten is the big, it's basically like the Amazon of Japan. And over 10 years ago, they decided to make their company all English. And then after that,、um, some companies are starting to follow that. If you look at a lot of、uh, forward thinking tech companies here in Japan, maybe not their whole company, but just the IT or the development department. It will be English language only because they don't have enough Japanese developers. So they're bringing in people from anywhere as long as they speak English and they have the skills. They're just bringing everyone over here because there's a, a big shortage. If you're interested in getting into tech in Japan, these are a few websites. If you have tech skills, these are kind of like the top tech companies that are accepting foreigners who have no Japanese language skills. And then over here, these are just general websites for specifically for foreigners, but not so much for tech. There are some tech jobs on here. English is okay, a lot of them don't require Japanese. Some of them are remote. You can apply from overseas for a lot of the jobs. This is the website I used when I interviewed for my job. It's kind of like the Japanese version of Code Wars, basically.、Uh, like they have coding challenges that are different ranks. Now, if anyone has any questions, we can、uh, get into some questions.、Um, so. Yeah, I don't know, first time attendant.、Um, so I, I was wanting to wonder about, I was like, I know you're in web dev, but are there any like, fields that are easier, in your opinion, to get into in Japan than web dev or like data science slash ML slash,、uh, I don't know, back end development?、Uh, yeah, one of my friends who was also an English teacher, he got into cybersecurity. Anything in the tech industry is. Gonna be like super understaffed. It's really helpful to have Japanese language skills. If you don't have the language skills, then you're gonna have to, you know, have some pretty good tech skills and find a company that's willing to, well, find a company that has their IT department in English, which isn't too hard to do. You know, I'm just a little bit of a demo. Yeah, thank, thank you. Ah, you got it. Yeah, you can. You, if you can speak a little bit, yeah, you're good to go. Hey, Zach, thanks hey. for、uh, sharing your story with us.、Um, my fiance lives in、uh, Niigata, and so I'm like racing to learn as much Japanese as I can quickly.、Mm. Um, what's your recommendation in terms of the JLPT level that you need before you can start to look into tech roles? And more specifically for me, I kind of niched. Into like a no code web development. Thanks. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, actually, I just saw an advertisement on Facebook the other day. I'll have to share the link for the company. It's called Dai Job. They're advertising in three. And that's kind of the level I hear from my other foreigner friends. That's, that's very exciting. I thought, I thought it was two or so. That, that's really good. Yeah. yeah, of course. I mean, that's like bare minimum. It, you'll have more o p p o r t u n like the higher your Japanese skill level is, the more opportunities you'll have. And about the, the no code or low code type thing, after I started this job, I had someone through LinkedIn offering me a Shopify job that's mostly no code, just Shopify development. But yeah, those, those opportunities are there if, if you have. Some experience in some kind of CMS like WordPress or Shopify, especially WordPress. Like Japan is huge on WordPress. Everyone is using WordPress and stuff like PHP. 
Uh, so uh, those kind of things are still in huge demand over here. I'm trying to explain people in Houston that WordPress is good, WordPress is pure. So they don't believe me. So <laughs> because yeah. PHP was horrible then. <laughs> no, come on. Yeah. <laughs> If you're really good at WordPress, you could just work full time as a freelancer on WordPress. That's great. Actually, that's a really good idea for me. So, thank you. Yeah, the WordPress uh, has has a big community in Japan. They they have they have good meetups. They have a good uh, WordCamps. We're in the process of making a new website uh, using like React and stuff in Next.js. But you can see here, power even our companies. Uh, our company's website is powered by WordPress. Oh, uh, Zach, an another one, another one question. I have a very shy uh, a friend, but he's he's trying to know. He wants to know uh, uh, what is the work culture in Japan. Is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how how do you do? You have to work very hard, or or you 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 can you you can like. Uh, Watch movies on on your job. I'm joking. No, no, no. What 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 is uh, what is like working in Japan? Ah, uh, yes, that's a very good question. the The traditional Japanese companies are they're hard. At the standard Japanese company, people are working a lot of overtime, unpaid, uh, super stressed out, low salaries. It's traditionally not the best working environment. Some companies are changing. His goal with the company that I'm at now is to create like a just a nice environment for engineers to work at. So if you can find a cool company, it's good. All of those companies uh, in that like Japan Dev and Tokyo Dev, these these kind of companies are not going to be your traditional Japanese company. My question is like the visa issues. Are there like any issues like regarding like sponsorships? Because obviously for more than three months, I think you would need a sponsor, right? Yeah, yeah. If, if you're going to stay here for more than three months, then you've got to get some kind of visa. Those companies that I showed you on that Japan Dev website, a lot of those companies are willing to sponsor your visa. It's actually easy for companies to sponsor your visa. It doesn't cost them any money. It just costs them a little bit of time to help you prepare the paperwork. If people want to work in Japan, the easiest thing to do is teach English. Like it's so easy to get, to get a job. Like so many companies are hiring. They'll, they'll bring you over, sponsor your visa. I have friends personally who they had a whole tech career or like they majored in engineering, but it's just so much easier just to get over here as an English teacher. So like they teach English for a year or two until they find a job doing their actual profession. Thank you. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, thank you Zachary for your presentation. Thank you. And yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you very much. Bye.